welcome back to story time. This time you all are here with a, a new face. My name is Miss Kiana and I am the new junior librarian here at East Orange Public Library. And I'm so excited to be here with all of you today. Granted, we are here virtually, but eventually you'll get a chance to see me in person. Again, I'm just really excited to be here and to be with all of you. It is officially February. It is Black History Month. And this time we're gonna go into some theme story times throughout the month to celebrate all the amazing experiences of Black History Month. This time, our first theme is going to be the musical sounds of Black history. How many people tuning in likes music? Miss Kiana loves music. I love all kinds of music. But for this story time, we're gonna celebrate black voices, black music. And we're gonna get started with jazz. Does anyone here like jazz? Mm, maybe, maybe not. Miss Kiana is a lover of jazz. I love jazz music. I love how mellow it can be. I love the different instruments that encompasses jazz, like you can see here with the trumpet. So our first story today, we're gonna get into jazz. And this book is called J is for Jazz, written by Ann Ingalls. A is for America's music. It absolutely began with African-American rhythms and how. Can everyone see the beautiful pictures here? B is for blues, the heart of jazz. It's sad, simple sound. Help give jazz its flavor. Some of the best jazz cats have been hip to the blues. Can everyone see that here? C is for Count Bessie, the jazz pianist and songwriter. The Count said, if you play a tune and a person don't tap their feet, don't play the tune. Can everyone do that for Miss Kiana? Can we tap our feet? That's what you do when you're hearing a song you really like. D is for the Duke Edward Kennedy Ellington. This unreal pianist and composer played more than 20,000 gigs. He got his nickname because he was such a sharp dresser. Duke was one duck daddy -o. Can everyone see Duke Ellington here? E is for Ella Fitzgerald, the first lady of song. In 1934, she belted out a melody at the Apollo Theater in New York City's Harlem neighborhood and won a contest. Lady Ella was the elephant's eyebrow. F is for floor flushers. They couldn't stop their dogs from dancing to the jumping music. They put up their glad rags and got their wiggle on. G is for Benny Goodman, AKA the King of Swing. As a 10 year old in shirt pants in Chicago, he played the clarinet. Can everyone see here? He played this snazzy little instrument here. When this jazz man picked up his licorice stick, he could really groove. 
Swing, Benny, swing. H is for horns, saxophones, cornets, trombones, trumpets, and clarinets. Barassi, sassy cats with balloon lungs required. Honey, no jazz band is hip to the jive without the sweet sounds of horns. Can everyone see all the different horns here? I is for improvisation. Making it up as you play along. Taking turns and letting each other shine. Hot socks. J is for Jelly Roll Morton. This jazz pianist and his band, the Red Hot Peppers, shaped the sound of jazz by mixing up ragtime and the blues. K is for Kansas City, the heavenly city. Cats played and sang at more than 50 different venues. The Blue Room, the Renew Club, the Jungle Room, the Drum Room, the Cherry Blossom, and the Majestic. Kansas City was the bee's knees. L is for Louis Armstrong, born poor, died rich, and never anyone along the way, and the Duke about his buddy. Satchmo is famous for trumpet and cornet playing and jazz singing. Can everyone see? M is from Miles Davis. In 1945, he went to the New York City to study music at the Juilliard School. But he spent most of his time blowing trumpet with the jazz bands. He was one cool cat. N is for New Orleans. The birthplace of jazz has the fanciest funerals. Cats and spats step in time to the beat of tubas, trombones, trumpets, and drums. What a swinging place to begin and end. O is for the original Dixieland Jazz Band. The first jazz band to make phonograph records with music that young rug cutters really dug. P is for Charlie Yardbird Parker. I thought and thought about the new ways of playing in my head, said Charlie. This sax. Mixed it to make a brand new music and bebop was born. Break it down, yard bird. Q is for quintets and quartets. Combos of four or five musicians playing drums, sax, trumpet, cornet, bass, trombone, piano, guitar, or vibes. Can everyone see here? R is for ragtime. All the rage before jazz. Scott Joplin, the king of ragtime, named his composition the Maple Leaf Rag for the Maple Leaf Club of Sedalia, Missouri where he jammed on the piano 
in the 1890s. S is for spirituals. Clap, sway, raise the roof, and rattle the rafters. Shake the walls with jubilant sounds. Hallelujah. T here is for Thelonious Monk, who put on the Ritz with dazzling drapes and funny hats. Monk got up from the piano in the middle of tickling the embers and moved to the groove. U is for uptown, upbeat, upscale, and urban. Jazz bust out in the cities, hotels, and restaurants. Owls get gigs and jam for some jack. V is for vibes. Short for vibraphone, a percussion instrument with metal bars that echo. Lionel Hampton made this instrument sing. W is for Mary Lou Williams, the boogie woogie queen. This lady who liked to swing the band, play music with one hand and wrote it for the next act with the other. Soul on soul. X is for act. Every jazz musician has his favorite act that is exactly right. Musicians try to hit on all sixes with their acts. Bone chicka, plinkery, tick-ta. Y is for Lester Perez Young, who could make a note anywhere on his sex because of his fancy fingering. Yowza! He made up a, a silly language, calling his fingers people, and practiced a molly trolley. You slay me, Prez. Z is for zoot suits. Jackets with wide shoulders and pants with baggy legs were all the rage. Snazzy dresses, high-stepped and pointy-toed shoes, while the feathers on their hats sway to the swinging music. The end. Ooh, all that jazz. Does Miss Kiana still have everyone's attention? Yeah? Are we ready for another story? Mm, let's see. If you're ready and you know it, clap your hands. If you're ready and you know it, clap your hands. If you're ready and you know it and you really want to show it. If you're ready and you know it, clap your hands. If you're ready and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're ready and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're ready and you know it and you really want to show it. If you're ready and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're ready and you know it, shout hooray, hooray. If you're ready and you know it, shout hooray, hooray. If you're ready and you know it and you really want to show it. If you're ready and you know it, shout hooray, hooray. All right, I believe I still have your attention. And now we're going to dive into another musical sound. But this time, it's rap. It's hip-hop. How many people here like hip-hop? Miss Kiana does. I love music. I told you guys. I love jazz. I love hip-hop. I love it all. Our next story to celebrate the musical sounds of Black history is called 
the roots of rap. Folk tales, street rhymes, spirituals, rooted in spoken word. Props to poet Hughes and Dunbar, published, ain't you heard? So man, James Brown shouting, I'm black and I'm proud. Giving birth to funk, bass line posting loud. Cruise with cans of paint. Spray tags on subway trains. Can everyone see the paint here? Writers from every borough take risks to make a name. Graffiti is thrown on buildings, bridges, and billboard signs all along the Manhattan, Queens, Bronx, and Brooklyn lines. With sheets of cardboard for a stage, b-boys bust out moves, donkey, spider, robot, windmill, rock, lock, and spin to break dance grooves. DJ Cool Herc in the Bronx. Block party under his command. Rocks and rocks nonstop. Mike clutched in his hand. Dropping, scratching, beat juggling, matching. Wax on wheels of steel. Wordplay rhyming, triple timing, keeping the lyrics real. Sugar Hill Gang, Run DMC, LL Cool J, Curtis Blow, Biggie and the Fat Boys, jamming on the radio. Female MCs, break it down. Salt and Pepper and TLC. Queen Latifah sports a crown, reigning like royalty. All around the kingdom, shorties raised on rap. Boogie to the fat beats and backward baseball caps. From Atlanta to Zanzibar, the youth spit freestyle freedom sounds. Hip hop is a language that's spoken to the whole world around. The end. Wow, look at that. Thank you all for sitting with me. 
My name again is Miss Kiana, and thank you for tuning in to another virtual story time here at East Orange Public Library. Today's story time was just highlighting some musical sounds that celebrate the Black Voices Black History Month. Again, we sat down and tapped our feet to some jazz, and we got to boogie all the way down and learn about rap and hip hop. I'll let you guys take a look at the covers because these books are available to check out here at the library. Again, thank you all for tuning in with me, and I hope to see you all again next week. Have a good day, guys.